Hey guys, it's Crystal, and Samsung just announced two new Galaxy phones, the S8 and the S8 Plus, and it seems like it's starting to be a trend this year that every phone is just so beautiful. And I know, I know what we're all thinking. Is this phone gonna follow in its father's footsteps? Huh? What I'm trying to say is, is it gonna explode? And I think, I think we're good this time around because Samsung introduced an 8-point inspection that will ensure that that battery is 100% safe. So I think we're good. So the smaller Galaxy S8 has a huge 5.8-inch display and the larger one, the S8 Plus, has an even more huge display at 6.2 inches. But the phones themselves aren't that huge thanks to what Samsung calls an infinity display. Not only do we have that curved display on the sides, but the top and bottom bezels have also been trimmed down. So much so that Samsung could even fit their logo on there, which I think makes it look so much nicer. And it also comes in five new colors. Thank goodness that sweet baby blue from the Note 7 is back! So since these bezels are so much smaller, the screen itself is actually taller. And if you catch my LG G6 video, you'll know that phone had an 18 to 9 ratio. But here with the new Galaxy phones, we have an 18 and a half to 9 ratio. Samsung always trying to one-up people. Or in this case, half-upping people. Running through the specs real quick, we got 4 gigs of RAM with 64 gigs of internal storage. And of course, we got that micro SD for expandable storage. It is IP68 water and dust resistant. And battery wise, we got 3,000 milliamp hours on the S8, with the S8 Plus packing a 3,500 milliamp hour battery. So, yeah, the bezels on these phones are so tiny that it looks like there's no more home button on the front anymore, but there actually is. Samsung says it lives under the screen, which they call the invisible home button, which pretty much just means that there's haptic feedback. And yeah, it feels good, man. I actually haven't played around with it too much, but from what I remember, it just feels like I'm actually pushing the glass in, but I'm not because it's just vibrations doing that. So, yeah, it's pretty convincing. So all of this means the fingerprint scanner had to be moved, and they did. They moved it to the back, right next to the camera, which I really don't mind the scanner on the back with most phones, but with the new Galaxies, I feel like it might be too hard to reach, like too high up, and I might hit it the camera instead of the scanner. It might be confusing, but maybe it just takes some time getting used to. But I'll have to see when we start using it more. The thing is though, I think Samsung actually intended us to unlock the phone in a different way, with the new iris scanner, but is it actually gonna be faster and more convenient than using a fingerprint scanner? Not sure, but it's still nice that we have the choice. The camera on here is pretty much the same, nothing too new with that rear camera, but what has changed is a selfie camera that went from five megapixels to eight megapixels, which should be great because I've always loved the selfie cameras on the previous Galaxy phones for that wide angle lens, but my only complaint is that the pictures are always too soft looking, so hopefully we get more detail here. But don't worry, I will definitely be putting the Galaxy S8 cameras to the test just to see how much it has improved. Oh, by the way, it looks like we have some Samsung Galaxy style Snapchat filters now. Another new feature with the S8 and S8 Plus is Bixby, which is pretty much just a new assistant only exclusive to the Galaxy phones. And what's cool about it is not only can you ask questions like any other assistant, it can answer your questions while knowing what's on your screen to give you some really accurate and specific responses. The only problem though is it'll be replacing Google Assistant, which is already a really great assistant. I didn't really get to test it out much, so we'll definitely be putting it to the test. All in all, I am really excited to get my hands on one that I can call my own and put everything further to the test for that full review, so make sure you stick around for that. And if you guys want to know anything about the Samsung Galaxy S8, let me know in the comments below so I can answer your questions in the review. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later!